What has been your most bone? Chilling hair. Raising that's get the hell out of here. X experience. Before we dig into it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Story when I'm a criminal defense investigator. I had a murder case involving two brothers. The one accused of the murders was very autistic and his brother was a schizophrenic. The schizophrenic brother lived in a potato shack in the middle of the desert. I needed to talk to him several times throughout the course of the investigation and since he didn't have a phone or electricity, I had to drive several hours out to his house and yell his name from the fence line until he came out of the shack. This investigation lasted for several years and over time I developed a rapport with schizophrenic brother and I kind of got to like him. He would talk your ear off about the aliens with golden eyes and the underground tunnels that connect all the Walmarts in the country, but he was pretty entertaining and part of me wonders how much of it was a show. Schizophrenic brother eventually gets a girlfriend. She's a tweaker who has mistaken his schizophrenia for meth-induced psychosis. I talked to her a few times in jail when she was sober and she was surprisingly charming and insightful. The last time I go to see schizophrenic brother, it's a dark winter night and tweaker girlfriend is there. She's lurking in the shadows and staring daggers at me the entire time I'm talking to him. I cut off his conversation about the speakers in his fillings and walk back to my truck to leave. A minute later, schizophrenic brother comes running out and tells me that he wants to show me something in his shack. He's never invited me inside before and I'm not thrilled by the prospect. The whole thing feels off to me, so I tell him I have to get going and start the truck. The look of relief on his face when I declined to go inside convinced me the tweaker girlfriend was waiting behind the door with a hammer or something. A few months later I learned that she shot him in his sleep and stashed his body in an old refrigerator. She has since plead guilty to his murder. Et rapport, not report. Story 2 possibly fighting a house fire and realising that I had very hot feet through concrete soled boots. My officer and I immediately noped the frick out. Hot feet mean you're standing above a fire. As fire burns upwards, it's weakening the floor beneath you. So we were about to plummet into a basement fire. Story 3 One time I was out in Colorado with some buddies hiking near the top of a mountain. Some bad weather started to roll in, but the top was only 15 minutes away, so I went ahead while they went back down. As I was getting to the top, I felt static in the air and the hair in my head started to stand up. I immediately started to panic because I thought I was about to get struck by lightning, so naturally I ran down without ever getting to the top. I'm not sure if I was gonna get struck, but I sure as hell wasn't sticking around to find out. Story 4 Exploring Abandoned High Rise Out of the blue, my friend grabbed me by my collar from behind. I was about to step into an elevator shaft. After swearing at him what the frick, he said, look, and I saw the drop of like 20 floors to a concrete bottom with broken metal rods sticking out. We went home. He saved my life 100%. Story 5 I worked a lot in remote areas of West Texas servicing oil field related equipment. One time I was out in the middle of nowhere, as usual, and to the northeast was a but an isolated hill that's bigger than a regular hill but smaller than a mountain but everywhere else around was pretty flat. There was one road in and out of the site. I was at at some point when I was working on a control box. I had the overwhelming feeling that I was being watched. I scanned the horizon, looked all around the but and went back to work. This happened a few more times within several minutes until I finally saw something move on the side of one of the rock outcroppings on the butt. I went to my truck, grabbed my binoculars and the figure hid behind the outcropping. It was definitely a human. I glassed him for a good 20 minutes and I could see him peek around every couple of minutes. Eventually, he leaned out so far that I could see the silhouette of the barrel of a rifle slung around his back. At some point he was hidden behind his rock for a while and the next time he peeked out I couldn't see the rifle. He had either put it down somewhere or he was now holding it. I immediately felt a sense of impending doom. The hair on my arms and neck was standing straight up. I very quickly collected my tools, got my AR-15 from behind the driver's seat and sat it on the passenger seat and tore out of there. I sped down the dirt road, almost clipped the castle guard and started cruising down the highway, just as the adrenaline started to wear off. I remember the metal taste in my mouth and having to grip the steering wheel to keep my fingers from twitching. A few miles down the road, a maroon suburban full of guys was pulled over on the oncoming side of the road. They definitely weren't oil field workers, shades all around, bust heads all intently looking at me. I expected them to pull a U-turn and pursue me, but they didn't. I can't prove that this is what was happening, but I do know that cartel guys run operations where one scouts for guys working alone and calls in a group of guys to rob them of their truck and tools. Story 6 was walking from a local shopping mall to the train station so I could go home. The shortcut went through a huge, long tunnel and was out of sight from the road and wasn't used unless you knew the area. 
Where I got to the tunnel, I looked up and saw one guy standing right at the other end of the tunnel in the middle, just looking in my direction like he was waiting. Every hair on my body stood on end. I felt like I needed to vomit and before I knew what I was doing, my feet turned me around and started walking fast away. He started walking after me and said, Don't worry, it's not like I'm going to r word you. I ran and walked right on the edge of a highway in plain view of cars, in case he ran after me. I couldn't stop shaking for an hour. 